Good afternoon, everybody. Connor from Waterlax Coatings again. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, just got a real quick video on opening cans of Waterlax. Um, sometimes they can be a bit of a challenge. So just a quick uh, pointer there. So first and foremost is there's a childproof cap on everything. Uh, Waterlax products in general are really good at adhesion. So if you get some on the threads or, or if they're not lined up just right or whatever, maybe those caps can stick. Um, worst case scenario, you get a, a pair of channel locks here. So that's what these are. You know, channel locks they slide in the channel or pliers or something like that. Uh, you can squeeze the sides. That'll pinch down on the inner cap and then you can twist it right off. Uh, particularly with the Universal Tongue Oil Sealer, I've noticed uh, that happening again. It's an extremely good primer. Um, so that'll get that right off and make it easy to come off next time. Uh, I've also seen it sometimes on the samples. Same thing. Um, if, it's, if you're pushing down and it's just kind of spinning, then you want to squeeze tightly on the edges. So set your channel locks to the proper width. And if you squeeze tightly on the edges, that'll help you open up that cap. Basically a childproof cap works by you have a floating plastic cap over the, the actual inner cap. So if you can get a good grip on that inner cap by squeezing the plastic, it'll open right up. Next, uh, people sometimes have a problem with the metal seal in some of our uh, rectangular metal cans. So typically all you really need for that is something very thin and strong, so a piece of metal. Uh, my favorite is I got a lab spatula here. Obviously that's not standard. Uh, equipment in anybody's house, but a really thin flathead screwdriver, uh, a pocket knife uh, in a pinch. A lot of pocket knives have very small flathead screwdrivers on them. Uh, I believe this one does. Uh, so those are, are great tools. You obviously want to be careful, so wear gloves if you're, especially if you're using a knife, be extra careful. Um, but all you need to do, and I'll try and kind of zoom in here, but if you get under that lip, pry it up in a few spots, and eventually get underneath it and pop it right off. So all it is is this thin little piece of metal so there's not much to it. I would definitely try to save these if you can. If you put it back in when you're done that creates a better water airtight seal than just the cap itself. So save that. You can probably dispose of this if you're storing it properly away from children. But um, try and save that if you can. Worst case scenario you can always go with a, a flathead screwdriver or a pointy uh, metal object <coughs> and a hammer, pop a hole in it, and then you should be able to. Yeah, this little pocket knife isn't ideal for this task, but you can just pop it right off that way. Obviously, this won't work as a seal anymore, but you can then discard it. So, if you're going to do that, uh, definitely save the plastic cap. But uh, that would be a quick way to remove that metal seal. And again, the hammer is kind of a last resort but uh, you can always just toss that seal if you need to. This will seal it, just not as well. 